If you want to quickly share your game with friends, or you're taking part in a game jam, you might want to do a web build of your Godot game. In this video, I will show you a quick guide on how to properly build it and how to publish it on each.io. In fact, you will be able to do all of that in just a few minutes. But before we begin, a quick info, in a few weeks we'll be running a second edition of CoCode Game Jam. If you want to check your skills and take part in it, check out the link below. Ok, so I'm here in Godot Launcher uh, and I will copy maybe the starter kit City Builder from Kenny uh, as our template project. In this simple game you can build your own dream city, uh, build some streets, trees, uh, buildings and so on and so on. Uh, and let's say that now when I finished it I would like to publish it on each.io. So the first step uh, is to change the render mode. As you can see by default this project uses forward plus but unfortunately it is not supported in web exports. Uh, you will need to change it to either mobile or compatibility. In this case I will go with mobile. Ok, so now when I switched mode, uh, let's go to editor and click manage export templates. Uh, if this is your first time exporting a Godot game, you will need to first download export templates. Uh, to do that, you can just click here. Uh, I suggest you to select official GitHub releases mirror um, and click download and install. Ok, after the uh, download is finished, it will be automatically installed and now you can go to project and click export. Here we do not have any presets just yet, so to fix that click add uh, and then select web. All of the default settings are all right for our needs, uh, we only need to now click export project. Uh, here let's select where we'd like to export it. So as you can see Godot suggests to export it to the project root, this is not a good idea. Uh, I suggest you to first create new folder uh, called builds and inside of it also let's create a web folder so you know that here uh, you will export web builds. Then we also need to define what will be the file name. Instead of this long project name I suggest you to uh, switch it up to index.html. Most platforms each.io included search for index.html uh, as a default file to open. Uh, okay and finally we do not need to export with debug. Uh, if you do so you will see some console logs in the browser console. Uh, in this case it's not needed so let's uncheck it and click save. You might have seen this uh, quick loading bar, uh, it was really fast, basically in a, a less than a second a whole project has been exported. Now let's preview it in our files, so I have builds folder, then web, uh, and then we have our exported files. Uh, not only index.html, but also some packs, a splash screen image and so on. So you might want to open this index.html and test it out in your web browser. Let's try it out. Uh, here is our game and after a second of loading we get this uh, error message load failed. Why is that? Well, we need to run those files on a real web server. Uh, running that on local machine uh, does not work. But there is actually a very easy solution to overcome that issue. I have found this app uh, servers, it's extremely easy as you can see mm, on this GIF. It allows you to select any folder on your local device and host it as a local web server so that uh, in our case a game will properly work. So go to the link in the mm, description to download it, here select your package, it will be either .exe uh, for Windows or a universal for Mac and after it's downloaded and installed it should look like this. Uh, first let's browse for our project files, here we have it, uh, then go to builds and select web folder. Then we can leave all of those settings with default values, click start and then click launch browser. That will open a new browser tab and will launch our uh, game 
fully in the browser window. You can now place the blocks and select different buildings and so on and so on. I'm showing you all of that because in my opinion it is important to first test if your game works well in web browser, uh, if it does not have any bugs and only then upload it to uh, platforms like each.io. But now assuming that we are ready, let's open each.io right now uh, and then click here in the corner and select upload new project. Here, obviously, I won't uh, go into the details on how to configure all of those settings, but most importantly, let's first uh, select title for your game, so uh, city building, and then change kind of project from downloadable to HTML, so that will uh, allow us to run our game in the browser, and then scroll down until you see uploads folder. Here we need to upload uh, a zip that contains all the game files, including index.html. We already have all of those files, but we only need to compress them. So on Mac, I will just select all of them and click compress. Here is a screenshot of how to do that on Windows as well. And now that we have this archive, click upload files, select our archive, and after it's uploaded, you will see this interface. We only need to click this file will be played in the browser. And OK, that should be it. Let's scroll down to the uh, very bottom and click save and view page. You will see this loading game for the first time and then you can click run game. After a second of loading, you will see our city builder simulator fully working in the web browser. Okay, when you're ready, uh, you will change the game title, you will add some descriptions and so on and so on. Uh, you can scroll to the very bottom of this page, click public to change the visibility status and click save and share it with the world. Okay, perfect. So that was the full process. Uh, remember that during game jumps, if you don't have time to finish web build, just upload anything until the deadline and then provide additional HTML files. Uh, that makes your game way more accessible for everyone who quickly wants to go over Game Jam games and rate them. Also, don't forget about Coco Code Game Jam, link in the description. As always, thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!